Happy Nostalgia T-shirt week still, everyone. Check out some of these old photos that I have found. That was red, white belt. Uh, unsure what belt that was, but I'm all the way to the left on the screen. Uh, and then coming up here is when I was on max edge and not a, a black belt quite yet, so I have a gray belt on. And I'm the second person in that photo. All right, y'all, so it's day two of doing the videos this week. So hopefully you've been doing your push-ups and sit-ups every day this week leading up to the second video. Um, if you have great work, you're getting stronger. If not, that's okay. Do your best to get those in and we're gonna get some work in right now to try to get stronger, all right? So again, we're gonna go down on that push-up position. You want your back flat, arms straight up like this. You're gonna bend your knees, or uh, bend your arms as much as you can, we're gonna do five push-ups. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job, give yourself a hand. You're getting stronger and stronger each time you do that. We're gonna flip on our back, we're gonna do our sit-ups. It's the same thing as last time. You want those feet on the floor, knees up, back flat, Keep your arms up. It's always a great habit to keep your arms up by your face. Again, block that head. Ready? On my count, you're gonna go all the way up or as far as you can and back down. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, and five. Give yourself a hand. You did it, you're getting stronger. Say better and better. Bring it on the challenge. Nice. All right, we are gonna review our accuracy sequence from the last video, and then I'm gonna add a little challenge. All right, so this is our second video of the week. We are gonna revisit our accuracy set series. So that's that jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. And we're gonna take it to another level. We are going to do it facing all directions, all right? Because we don't know which way we might get attacked from. This also gives us the opportunity to get, you guessed it, better and better and grow to show that accuracy, all right? So first off, we'll face, you'll face me in the video. Fall back in your guard stance. Ready? You're gonna do it with me. Go, jab. Cross, hook, roundhouse kick, and back. Now, you're gonna face your belly button towards the back of the room. All right, so you're looking towards the wall that was to your right or to your left. And we're gonna do this again, ready? Go, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick, and step back. Nice job, that was two ways. We're gonna to look towards the back of the room. Our belly button is gonna face the opposite wall that we were just kicking at. And we're gonna do this together. Ready? Go, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. Step back. That was three times. Last way, face the direction you have not yet faced, so it's the opposite wall. Then you did that second time. Guard stance, ready? Go, jab, cross, Hook, roundhouse kick. Nice job, you just did it from every single direction. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. So we're gonna do our four attack, our all four directions accuracy sequence again. But this time, I'm just gonna say go, all right? And you're gonna go at your own pace and you're gonna do the sequence twice, all right? And I'm looking for you to do your best. So whatever that means for you, be honest with yourself, do your best. Grow every single time, all right? Fall back to your guard stance. Ayo! Two times in this direction. Go! Ayo! Ayo! Nice job. We're gonna face our belly button towards the back of the room. We're looking towards one of the walls next to us. Two times, getting better and better. Go!
Nice job. Attacker number three, we're gonna face the back of the room. Repeat after me. Say better and better. All right, two times. Go. All right, last attacker. Face the wall you have not yet faced. Fall back on the guard stance. This is your opportunity to do your very best. Be honest with yourself. Push yourself. Ready? Guard stance. Go. Give yourself a hand. Way to go. Time for action karate form one. So now I'm going to challenge you. We are going to do action karate form one facing all directions, all right? Just like a compass, north, south, east, west, all right? Every single time, you guessed it, we're growing, we're getting better. So we'll start facing forward, do this with me. This time I'm just gonna say go, and we're gonna go through our form, all right? Action karate form one. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Set. Victory. Humility. Courtesy. Man. All right, let's face this wall over here. Action karate form one, man. Guard stance. Go. Did you do your best? If you did, give yourselves a hand. If you didn't, I want you to rewind the video and do that again. And this time, do your very best every time. If you did do your best, you can still rewind the video just to get that extra practice in. Totally up to you. What I want you to do is pause the video if you have to, go get your adult in the house, all right? If they're already with you, ask them to come and watch your form. You're gonna do your form for them, all right? So again, you can pause this video to do this. You're gonna do your form for them. Right in front of them, go all the way through, just like you were doing it for me. When you get to the end, I want you to be honest with yourself and honest with your adult. Tell them one thing that you could do better and then show them again and make that thing better. So it could be, again, some examples are low stance. It could be, having better chambers or re-chambers. It could be kicking higher. It could be having louder kios. It could be not messing up on the move you messed up on the first time because we all make mistakes. Just something that you can be honest with yourself, honest with them, and show them how you can get better, all right? So I want you to do that and then um, come back to the video. So adults in the household, you may not wanna go too far because I will be asking them to utilize you for both their technique and their self-defense that will be coming up um, shortly. So last week we used our technique, our kneeling sidekick to hit the uh, fruit in Fruit Ninja. 
this week, what I'm going to ask you is, um, after I explain this, pause the video to go do it. You're going to go get an adult if they're not already with you. And you're going to ask your adult to find something soft. All right. This could be a pillow from the couch, a pillow from the bedroom, a stuffed animal, something soft, a t-shirt rolled into a ball. And what they're going to do is they are going to throw that soft thing at you. All right. But not only are you going to throw it at you, you're going to already be in your kneeling sidekick position. And so say my adult's over here. I'm in my kneeling sidekick position. I'm looking over my shoulder at my adult. They're going to throw the soft thing. I'm going to kick the soft thing in the air. All right. Your goal is to make contact. All right. You have a moving target coming at you. You're going to keep doing this until that you can hit the target. You might not get it on the first try. That is okay. We're working on accuracy this month. We're working on getting better and growing. If we miss the first time and we say, oh, I'm not good at karate. I didn't get it. I should have got it. Is that going to help us grow? No. All right. You want to say, okay, how am I going to be better this time? Maybe you need to look a little more over your shoulder. Maybe you already have your chamber up, ready and loaded. Maybe you communicate with your parent and you say, hey, can you say go so I can be ready? All right, anything that's gonna help you grow and get better. But I want you to do this until you've at least made one completed kick at the target. You can certainly do it more than that, um, but I want you to be able to at least uh, kick that soft object at least once, all right? So go ahead, get an adult, pause the video, get at it. And now it's time for self-defense. So we are working on our overhead club self-defense. So that means, again, someone has a club, a baseball bat, a large stick, something, they're trying to hit you in the head. All right, let's do this together. Hands up, I don't want any trouble. First thing, get out of the way. All right, I stepped out of the way, so now the object would be going past me. Just for safety precautions, we're gonna block we're gonna do an up block above our head. We're not blocking the stick or the bat. We're blocking their arm. We're gonna swing it around. So now their own arm, their own weapon hits them. Our back legs can do roundhouse kick. Everyone take two steps away, get into a guard stance. All right, let's do that again. Hands up. I don't want any trouble. I'm gonna say go. We're gonna do the whole thing. Go. Ayo. Ayo. Nice. All right, so how we're gonna practice this self-defense is you're gonna pretend that I'm the bad person and this is what I'm hitting you with, a little metal pole. All right, so when I swing, you're gonna do your self-defense. All right, and I'll pause for you to finish the whole thing. Ready, go. Pretending like you hit me. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Hands up, what do you say? All right, get ready. Did you get out of the way? Let's test it, ready? Hands up, what do you say? Did you make it out of the way? Finish strong. One last time. Nice job. All right, so just like last week, I used this metal rod thing to pretend to hit you over the head for our overhead club self-defense. You're going to pause the video if you have to, as always, get an adult if they're not already with you, and ask them to bring something soft. All right, again, pillow, stuffed animal, rolled up t-shirt, pair of socks, whatever it may be, they are going to throw it at you. You are going to step out of the way and then show them the rest of your self-defense. All right, two things. Most important thing, get out of the way. All right, so you're getting out of the way of that moving object. That's why you're stepping like this. Second most important thing, all right, you go through. You wanna end, show them you mean business. Bend those knees, your hands are up. You have a mean face on your yeah, Kia! All right, pause the video. Do it a couple times with your parent or your adult at home. Make it happen. 
Black Belt Lifestyle Alert, we're talking about honesty. All right, since the Black Belt Lifestyle skill is honesty this month, it's time for another honesty story. So this time it's about a boy named Tim. And Tim was talking to his parents. His parents said that he wasn't allowed to go to the skate park by himself um, because if his parents weren't there and something happened, then they wouldn't be there to help. Um, so Timothy's friends, though, were pressuring him and saying, we really want you to come to the skate park after school. So Timothy told a lie. Uh, he said that he was going to his friend's house to study for the test that they had uh, at the end of the week. So his parents dropped him off at his friend's house. Um, and him and his friend walked to the skate park. Now, lo and behold, when they were at the skate park, uh, Timothy fell and he got a big scrape on his knee. Now, he could still walk, it didn't feel like anything was broken, so he just uh, went about his day. Uh, when he went back to his friend's house and his parents picked him up, um, he had covered up the cut on his knee so that his parents wouldn't see. His parents asked him how studying went and he said that it went really well and he thinks he's gonna get an A on his test. So the end of the week comes, Timothy takes his test. His knee starts to feel really sore um, and he looks at it and it doesn't look like it's getting any better. Now Timothy didn't wanna tell his parents though because then they would know he lied. So Monday comes around to get his test exam back um, and not only did he not get an A, he did not do well on his test. He, he failed his test um, and now his knee hurts so much he can barely walk. The teacher notices and asks him uh, to go to the nurse. So the nurse sees him limping, checks out his knee, sees the cut that he got, um, determines that it's infected and s explains how she's going to have to call Timothy's parents. Now, Timothy tells the nurse, he says, no, 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 like, I, my parents don't know that I went to the skate park, I got this cut, they're going to be so mad at me. And so the nurse said, okay, well, I'll give you two options. Option one, I call your parents and I tell them and they have to come pick you up um, to get you to go to the doctor. Or I can call them and you can talk to them on the phone and tell them th the truth. So Timothy decided to tell the truth. Um, and his parents, you know, they were concerned. Their main concern was making sure that he was safe and okay. Um, and Timothy felt so bad that he, he told his parents he was never going to lie again. So, again, it's up to you. Are you going to be like a black belt, a black belt in training and be honest from the beginning? Or try to get away with telling little lies and hope that you can get away with it? All right, since we're working on honesty this month, you want to have that commitment to telling the truth. So even when it's hard, tell the truth right from the beginning. Excellent work today in class. Now don't forget to keep doing those five push-ups and five sit-ups every single day until it's been a week. You're going to get stronger and stronger each time. And we started class with doing our five push-ups and five sit-ups for today. Then we went into our action karate form one. I lied. <laughs> Before we did that, we did our accuracy sequence. Um, practice getting better and better. Then we did Action Karate Form 1 and uh, worked on getting better and better with that. And did our self-defense. And then talking about honesty. I had an awesome time making this video for you. I hope that you worked really hard and had a great time. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Don't forget next week is Stripe Test. So it'll be pre-test in the beginning of the week and then your actual stripe test towards the end of the week. So keep practicing. Can't wait to see you next week.